this is a simulation for the electromagnetic waves in which you can see the number of things here you can rotate it the axis right now this one is z axis this is y and wave is propagating along the x direction here you can see and if this is an electromagnetic wave so speed of it will be obvious and that will be speed of light here by this you can change the orientation of it in this way now the y axis is above and z axis here this is z axis and this one is y axis still wave is propagating along the x direction so you can move it so here at this point you can see the perpendicular component this component is z direction or it can be like in this way so all the possibilities are available from this simulation by rotating the axis the speed of it you can increase from here this is the direction of electric field by this green arrow and these are component here point x one can show also trajectory of the electric field by this this is angle of deviation which varies from 0 to 360 degree here are the component of electric and magnetic field this is the electric field magnetic field with the blue color electric field is with the red color so if i vary the strength of the electric field so you can see the amplitude is decreasing right so if i increase this one so you can see that the electric field component amplitude is increasing that seems in uh, red color you can by this show field button you can replace this and if i use it this green color vector appears here for the electric field components magnitude of that it is measuring if i click e so now there is only b component these are magnetic field components and by keep only electric field component you can see here only electric field component and again rearrangement of this in three dimensional view so now keeping y axis above and by selecting it uh, one can move it up and down using the control key and the mouse left click and so now this is y direction this one is z direction and this is the a direction so now the electric field component starts from here varying the magnitude of it that is keeping here um, 7 or near about to the 7 it is not necessary it can be varied and because of that you can see the change into the amplitude of the electric field second point is about the magnetic field there is no magnetic field but by this way you can see the contribution of the z component so now z component zero so you can see here the perpendicular component of the electric field now i am introducing the magnetic field at bottom side here the blue color line 
so now you can see the blue clear line the component of the magnetic field I am just increasing the magnitude of this by this way so you can see this uh, blue color correspond to the magnetic field and this is also perpendicular the electric field component is along the y direction magnetic field components are along z direction and wave is propagating the along x direction if uh, I have considered here 25 is the x point if I increase or decrease it so it basically change the pattern here if I consider let us see about it this is the trajectory of the electric field and magnetic field keeping 10 here let us see the chain so change into the wavelength I have increased the wavelength if I reduce the wavelength now see the effect of it and now keeping it around 10 let us see for the angle of deviation so I am increasing this angle and you can see here now the pattern of this wave that is the combination of electric and magnetic field at 120 you can see here by rotating the axis you can visualize it here yeah. so this is the effect of then I'm reducing the delta that is 60 degree and the pattern of this electromagnetic wave here 830 so it can be visualized easily the pattern of it this is the actual form right so keeping it anywhere if you increase the angle of deviation that is basically if you keep at 360 then see its behavior it can be understand very well before if we discuss the mathematical portion of the electromagnetic wave The, if I increase the delta T you can see the speed of this electromagnetic wave it means its frequency is increasing so increasing the component it means magnitude of the magnetic field reducing it so you can see actual V of the electromagnetic wave the vibration of the electric and magnetic field components